This video is an overview of the BSP Bright Server project file within Bright Builder. So BSP is what we call the Green Butterfly file, uh, which is the PDA application definition. This video will take you through all of the project building blocks for the BSP, so the forms, tables, queries, sync rules, reports, and also discussing the languages and the global capabilities of the BSP. I've also got my BEP here running just to help me having a bright server running to help me with some of my demonstrations. The BEP will be covered in is covered in, in another video. So the first thing I'm going to do in the BSP, I'm going to open up a brand new so I'm going to open the form one, the, the form that I've got running here, and this is the layout editor. So this is the graphical appearance of the of the screen that I'm working on, and it's a it's a drag and drop what you see is what you get environment so I can drag my brand new control from the power to the top there there are a wide variety of components that I can use I'm gonna brand if I just make a brand new form here to show you um, I've got labels edit boxes buttons all these controls that are just the standard types of controls that you expect to see this is a list view that hasn't been populated yet what I can do is just if I just put in a query in there, and you can see it. And so the type, the types of components that you expect to see on a form, a digital form. This is a a, a date picker, uh, a group box. So I can group my my items into a one one area. Uh, images, so I can display any image file, and I can capture scribbles as well. This is like a signature capture sign sign on glass capability. So when I and with all these items, what I can do is I can I can I can rubber band select them like this. I can do uh, I've got an alignment tool here that I can use, so I can line these these items up. I've got alignment, same size, and dimensions. So I'm just going to delete this form three. So this takes me back to this um, beginning form here now. So. What I can also do, I can have a button on a on a form, and I can buttons. Obviously, the best thing they can do is the user can click on them. So, what do we do in Bright Builder? We want to have what we call an, ex an expression that can and that can be that that will take place when the user uh, clicks on the button. So, if I double click on this button here now, it, uh, Bright Builder asks me what what action do I want to assign to the button click that I've just have just asked for. So two things I can do, I can I can run an expression or I can have open a form, let's just run an expression and I've got commenting within Bright Builder so user pressed the button and I've got a very powerful tree here, this data source tree which gives me drag and drop, not only have I got drag and drop in my layout editor, I've got drag and drop in my expression editor here too so the label that we just saw here, so this is the label, uh, label one. When I click the button, I'm going to make, I'm just double clicking on those question marks to say I'm going to make label one be, change it to hello world when they click the button. So very briefly, also just the, what the expression editor here can do, I've got um, elements that I can drag from the bottom here. Um, if then, so if then else assignments, uh, while loops, call statements, so I can call another expression, and exit to leave the expression altogether, and then the rest of the mathematical and comparison operators here that I can drag into my logical expressions, etc. So I'm going to, and I can write, I can I can select all these ones, I can right click on these, I can delete those ones. And now I'll just run. Now, the other great thing about Bright Builder is we can test as we go. So I'm going to hit the the uh, the, the play button. There's three play buttons to, to look at here. The play button here will run will run the application in my Bright Forms environment here. The play play on the remote device will play it on my on my PDA, and then debugging. I can also debug this project which we'll come back to later. For now, what I want to do is run it on my PDA. So I've got my PDA connected here and running. 
and you can see on the screen I've got my buttons and labels exactly the way I laid them out in, in the editor side by side so our editor is is pixel perfect it's 100 percent the same resolution and so you can you can get things exactly how you want them to be looking the button that I press runs the expression changes the label text to hello world so we've shown you at this stage we've shown you the layout tab and most of the functionality in there the expressions so now I want to take you through the remaining tabs the data binding the validation the variables and the menus for the data binding I'm going to go to a second form so this is, we have what we have here is a form here with three fields in it and these three fields correspond to my table so I'm going to talk about the database for the first time in the BSP project the table editor is a pretty simple editor I can add and delete rows I can define primary keys I can pick from um, different data types string boolean int double date time and uh, binary fields so here I have a pretty simple uh, demonstration table uh, with three fields in it and on top of the tables we place the queries so this query uses the table and I can even I can support quite complicated queries with table joins uh, parent and child relationships this example right here I have is a simple one um, so there's no, there's no there's no relationships or um, child tables here I've simply got a, a condition for example I can pick a field and I can put in a hard-coded value there so I can say this is my condition for field one so this is filtering the result set down to values with a with a particular value for field one otherwise I can parameterize the same um, field and I can have in um, logic between different fields there as well and I can add, I can add add in an, and block that up and so on next I define the output fields I can just add them all or remove them all so I've just got them all for this simple query so the query the, the result of the query is it's going to give me a result set that's going to conform to the conditions that I've defined so by having no conditions I'm going to by default pull out all of, of the of the records and I'm going to have all their, all their output fields returned by this query now this query can act as the data binding form query so this will become the, the query that will form the result set for what we call a cursor form that is able to uh, display in a cursor format on this screen all of the fields that correspond to that um, query I, uh, when I have a cursor form I can have my uh, cursor navigation bar probably the easiest way is I'll just show you what it looks like in the PDA 